Today I'm going to go over a few short techniques to convert a portrait into a sort of anime looking character. So go ahead and open up a portrait where the individual is looking at the camera. For this example I'm using a portrait of Scarlett Johansson. And the background layer over here, the layers palette, if you don't see it just go to window layers. Go ahead and double click that, hit OK. So it's more like a normal layer that we can edit a little bit more. Go ahead and press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. That will duplicate our layer so we can work on a duplicated layer in case we like the overall effect but want to adjust the opacity of a certain area to show through to the original layer if we think it's overdone, for example. First thing you want to do after that is go to Edit, Transform, and then Warp. And here we'll want to kind of make the facial structure a little bit more like a anime character so kind of a smaller chin uh, for the most part you don't want to bring the top down farther than that because it will show through to the other layer um, but basically this chin area needs to be a little bit skinnier for kind of an anime look but we don't want this to be pulled over so we can actually drag those over to the right and left and then bring this in very subtle. If you overdo it, it kind of looks cartoonish, so we're not going to do a cartoon anime. This is going to be an actual, uh, more realistic kind of portrait there. That's a little bit too long there. All right. Go ahead and press Enter. And next, we want to actually go to Filter and Liquify. Let's begin a fun way to learn the Liquify tool. Choose the fourth one down and it actually makes the area a little bit smaller wherever we are so uh, lips probably mean a little bit smaller for a anime character so you can actually just click and let go somewhat subtle you don't want it too small though you also want to bring over the edges so you can click that top forward warp tool and drag over just a little bit and you can press the left and the right bracket on the keyboard while you um, in between clicking and dragging or you can just change the brush size over there it's just a shortcut alright so a couple subtle changes there and click the fifth one down here that's the bloat tool right bracket make it a little bit larger I've got brush size about 144 it depends on your size of your file but brush density I got at 50 and I'm gonna just click in the iris there and just click and let go click and let go don't want to really overdo it too much. Alright. And if you want to undo any part of it, you can click on the reconstruct tool and that will kind of undo certain areas if you think it's overdone. Uh, there's also a couple other options like twirling and things like that, but I think in this tutorial we just really need just the the pucker and the bloat tools. All right, and also the forward warp tool. So once you have that done, go ahead and click OK. And go ahead and click Create New Layer icon on the bottom of the Layers palette. And we're going to kind of soften a little bit the color. Uh, color here, I've got RGB levels 236, 152, 138, or the web color code EC988A. And use a soft edge brush here, the brush tool. Make sure hardness is set to 0%, soft edge. And the size is going to kind of vary, but just press the right bracket arrow if you want to make it larger on the fly. And what we'll do is just kind of click over the top here, just so it, I mean, it'll still look real, but it'll look a little bit more fantastical a little bit at the same time. And we're going to adjust the opacity and the layer blending mode in a sec here and you can do it beforehand if you want but and you can look at the different effects here uh, we're not going to just paint over like that we're actually going to change the layer blending mode at the top of the layers palette and you can cycle through and see the effects of the different colors there but lighten kind of works a little bit uh, some of them are a little bit too uh, powerful effect, all right, unless you're going to change the opacity. Soft light is okay. 
and uh, so one of those two probably I'm going to actually do soft light for this example you got color color works okay as well but I'm going to do soft light and I'll bring the opacity just a little bit down and you can kind of see the difference just very subtle All right. and also the nose too um, let me go back to filter liquify could actually make anime characters kind of have a smaller nose too uh, kind of just click and let go click and let go and again if we overdo it you can always undo with that one but using the forward warp tool over here let's, let's just drag it over just subtly and then the pucker tool makes it a little bit smaller as well all right we want to maintain that symmetry though so it's kind of a more aesthetically pleasing all right so there we go that's the effect if I click the eye icon you can see the original and then the new one and it's just kind of a fun simple technique learn a different a uh, couple different uh, tools in Adobe Photoshop to create this kind of realistic anime looking character thanks